welcome back to the channel it is your boy big mario and we are back what if they went pro episode two stunting in the bay kobe griffin cornerback for the seattle seahawks we're sitting at five and four i think they're at three and six yeah they're at three and six so Wishing, wishing nice and pretty. We gotta get this dub though. Showed out week one. I mean week one, the first game that uh we played in showed out. Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on E. Did his thing. Sports. So now, we'll see Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks let's see if we can do our thing again. With Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers. I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. It's Monday Night, by the way, fool. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley. And Levi Stadium Look at the folks, all black versus all white. There he is. This crowd, they love their Mr. Griffin. And they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. And we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with the Seattle Seahawks. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. <coughs> <coughs> they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. See how these folks what do. What I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can Ooh. get that second win in a row. 18 carries, 70 well, yards, one touchdown. Okay, Chris Carson, I see you. They winners last time out, so <coughs> you got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindset. Both teams coming off wins, but only one can win. There's your boy. Here we go. Let's see if I can roll with this camera angle for right now. A first carry for the former Falcon, Tevin Coleman. And not much to speak of. Calling a doing. one yard gain up to the 26. The tackle made by KJ Wright. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Working from the gun, Garoppolo completes it to Coleman. And he'll get so the I feel a lot. I feel a lot faster, I guess, from this angle. I don't know. I don't know if that's actually valid or not. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field. Shutting it down right away. Big plays for an offense. Three and out. Now throwing up. About to make some. There, but he cannot see if connect. we can make some work right so the here. Defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? Oh. That's a nice start for them in this one. Okay. 51 yards on the punt there. <clears throat> So we got our lead grew. Here we go. Let's go, defense. Our time. It's our time. Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo. Almost able Ooh. to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. Yeah, no. An incomplete pass leads to second and tight end. from the 25. <laughs> Garoppolo. And this is going to be incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's Still don't have a target. And what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just Should be a guy keep that, that going. Football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Oh. Dang. Kittle cooked me up. Takes it across the 40 yard line. 18 yards, first down. That's on me. They'll run with Coleman on first down. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Well, remember, Tevin Coleman was in the two-headed backfield in Atlanta during his four years there, along with Devontae Freeman. Now he joins a crowded backfield in San Francisco. But in Atlanta, he played under offensive coordinator Kyle Shanahan, and then, of course, Shanahan becomes a 49er head coach, and he made it a point to go out and snag his former running back as he really likes his 26-year-old ball carrier. Play action, Garoppolo. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Let's go. Coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 11. Let's go. Testing me, Jimmy G. Come on, bro. Come on, dog. So more problems here in this first quarter. Already two scores down, and here they give away the football. And if I'm the head coach, I think it's time to start lighting a fire under some of these guys. Now, you have to do it within your personality. They can't perceive it as fake. But I'd go get after some guys because they don't look ready to play to me. They look flat, uninspired. That pick, fam. <clears throat> so my goal is to get three tackles, I, I think. And yeah, make three hit stick tackles. It's pretty dope and all, but I want picks. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. There's oh. the Washington Husky. It's Dante Pettis. And he takes us beyond the 35. I'm not doing the goal justice, fam. 13 yards there and a nine first. Coming to you, coming to you. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Garoppolo looks to throw and the tip there altered the ball flight and it falls incomplete it'll be second down they work again from the 38 on second and 10 looking to throw Garoppolo and this will no, take sir. it in on the right sideline, but not in the field no, of play. They say it's incomplete. Here we go, here we go. The throw hey. led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Ooh, and son. Third down throw They're not even trying well. me. It's another fourth down. Let's see if we can get a good here return. Don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Let's go. This is taken at the 10. Decent Nearly return. A huge return as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. Yeah, I'll take it. This one across the 45 before he's brought down. 13 yards there and a Niner first. On first down, it's Coleman, and he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. Let's go. He goes down. All right. I think I'm about to move into the slot again. Not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes and they're getting at them. On third and long, it's completes it to the tight Oh, let's go. And the ball is knocked out. Let's go. So down brought the blitz. These guys are getting smacked, bro. Let's go back to the outside. Let's go. 
Now a play fake. Garoppolo. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that will be incomplete. That could have been bad. Big hitter if they had connected. That could have been bad. Instead, it's second down. Got me on play action. Pass leads to second and ten from the 25. On second down, it's Coleman. And he's upended after a gain of two out to it's the barely the second quarter, folks. One fifty-eight <clears throat> left to play till we hit halftime. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. There's Garoppolo to throw. Goodwin able to haul it in. Dang. That's six. That's wild. It wasn't on me, but man. His third touchdown now. That's crazy. I don't even know how to react to that. <laughs> They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. From the 31, Garoppolo. No, and sir. And be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Third down and four. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Man, I got you. Man, I got you. Garoppolo, a final shot here before half. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. We gotta get some more tackles up, man. We got no tackles. We just got one interception. That's it. That's the stat line. One interception. It's a run by Cole. Let's go. I'm there. And he'll be up in it. I'm there. Let's go. Just a three yard gain there. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And they're able to get this All right, one bringing that blitz is not for <laughs> Pettis is quickly becoming the number one receiving option for Jimmy Garoppolo. In the last year, John Lynch said that they loved the way he closed the season. Really came on late. Remember, this is a guy that they traded up to get at number 44 back in 2018 out of the University of Washington. And this is Selleck here with a grand. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. He's going to walk on deep left side here. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball. And now they face a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Try to lay one up deep. And Let's go. Incomplete. No, sir. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Ooh. That was so bad. <laughs> position goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take. Garoppolo on first and ten. 
That's complete to his receiver, Ellis. <clears throat> and they work this out past the 25. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Garoppolo now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Garoppolo gonna hand this one to Coleman. A stall in there. About three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Now we're gonna get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. We'll check on his status when we get back. Let's go, D. Big series right here. We gotta step it up. From the 31. Garoppolo, the tight end Kittle has it on the left side. Now, now he's the hurt. Dang. We're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Here we go. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. On play action, now Garoppolo. Open man is Pettis, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past hey. the 50. He'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. They'll run here with Coleman out of the gun. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. They will run again with Coleman. Now a loose football. Coleman lost it, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys his defense is terrific, man. Here we go. How are they in such bad shape record-wise? How are they at 500 with such a great defense? Oh, son. It's going to be incomplete. He was hoping to get that one to Tevin Coleman in space. But it'll be second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo. Man no way. It's good one. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, that right on the 30. That one cool. covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. He finds Matthews. Give him nine so there the first down completion. One thing I can say pretty safely. That route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some musket on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy. Blitz coming Let's and go. down he goes. Bobby Wagner. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Dang, son. Side taken in by Pettis. I'm getting that cooked. Good for 24 yards. I need to work on my, I need to work on my defensive back game, seriously. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Back now here in Santa Clara. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Throwing now is Garoppolo over the middle. And it's incomplete. The intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin, and it's second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Garoppolo looks to throw, and that is incomplete. A lot of Bobby Wags, down on him there. He could right not there. On. It's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. To throw is Garoppolo. Dang, son. And he comes back with one complete. And not expect that at all. He's out of bounds inside the 35. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. To throw once more on second and 10. Garoppolo, he's got it to Matthews, complete. 
One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Garoppolo going to go on fourth down. Dang. And it is incomplete. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. Here we go, here we go. 54. See if they test me in the slot right here. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Ooh, they did and test me in the slot. Matthews. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down, San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Working from the gun, Garoppolo completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Force oh, fumble, fam. And this is going to get out of bounds, so they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually, and they'll hold on to the football as well. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. There's Garoppolo to throw. That catch good Two for tackles five. right there. Third down. I'll take it. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Garoppolo again. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Well, the trials Two, and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time, and the offense will come back. One more defensive drive, folks. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see if we can get another pick. I'm coming for you, On first down, Garoppolo. Open man is born. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves. But they're also looking forward now. Dang. Because now these plays smack. are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Garoppolo. Oh, snap. That is a crazy it's pick. Intercepted. That was wild. 42, past the 20, and he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. That was crazy. That was a nice pick. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right there, 54, right there. Now Garoppolo to try again after the Let's go. And pick number two, folks. Pick number two. Yard line. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to Boom. seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. Now, I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. If we'd made one more play, <laughs> could have had our shutout. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And that's game, folks. Charles, that is it's one game. Thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. 
So let's check out the stats real quick so before Seahawks, we head out. <clears throat> it's an important win in terms of staying in the postseason race Boom. as they move to six and four. A and punt return, four returns for 39 yards. Before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, Defensively, for the 49ers, their season is on life support somewhat. One now, solo, five six. assists, six and total tackles, to two interceptions. At home against San and, Francisco. Oh, and a force one more and one, pre one pass breakup and yeah. crew, so Gunn, you've been up to par with the NFL way that we've been you know with, with last week's performance so now we got two solid weeks under our belt we are about to sim real quick and see where we are at with the uh playoff race because i think we're in a buy we're in a buy next week i think i'm not sure go advance yes sir we are so we're gonna advance two weeks See where we're at with the playoff race. Start your week by installing your game plan. And we got the Eagles too, so. Start your week by installing your game plan. All right, folks. So, just by the looks of it, we are at the top of the NFC West. The Rams seem to be horrific to an eight. Horrible. So in the NFC grand scheme of things, the Vikings are ten and one, Panthers are eight and two, Cowboys seven and three, Bears seven and three, Saints six and four, we're six and four, Packers six and four. So the way the playoffs would look right now would be the Vikings, Panthers, Cowboys, that's north, south, east, and then us as the West. That's the top four. Bears and Saints would be the two wild cards. Season is far from over. We let's take a look. Let's take a look at our schedule. So, about the Eagles, Vikings, Rams, Panthers, Cardinals, 49ers. So that's one, two. So that's that's two playoff teams that we got left. So we should do we should do decently at least. Let's see, if we got a weekly award. We did not. Let's check out our stats on the year. So. Five solo tackles, 10 assists. That's 15 total tackles, two tackles for loss, three interceptions, uh, two pass breakups, and two forced fumbles in two games. So, so far, very good stat line. Um. It'd be wild if we're in the run for any type of award based off of those two weeks but we are sixth in the defensive rookie of the year uh, race after just two weeks folks that's wild best DB oh we are fourth fourth ladies and gentlemen right now after just two games folks after just two games dog I don't know I think that's dope. I think that shows progression. But hey, that's just me. But, folks, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button. Um, thank y'all very much for the support. I really, really appreciate it, y'all. Keep keep tuning in. Keep checking them out. Keep checking out my channel. Um, I'm I'm in I'm I'm working on a uh, NBA. What if they went pro already? Uh, and we're gonna be bringing more episodes on the Madden series. And we're actually gonna be branching out into MLB as well, the baseball world. So keep an eye out for that, folks. But thank y'all, man. Thank y'all for the support. I really really appreciate it, y'all. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, but until next time, folks. Stay beautiful. I'm out. Peace.